guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. It's another reading vlog. I've taken a couple weeks off from my reading vlog because my last one was just a little too disappointing and it was just a rough week. Uh, some things happened. And look at my cat. She's laying on the box and she's hanging off. I can't, I swear. But yes, it is Wednesday. And I'm starting this vlog. I'm trying to get on a video upload schedule because I feel like I'm not taking my YouTube channel seriously enough. Even though it's a hobby. And I have other priorities like my children homeschool and working and paying my bills. But I need to have something to keep me sane. And YouTube is somewhat sane and something that keeps me sane somewhat besides the slow ass internet and the editing which I'm editing my February wrap up right now and it'll be up way before you see this I'm hoping to have it up by 7 8 o'clock on Thursday morning tomorrow morning and if you can hear my kids they're arguing they're playing Harry Potter Lego if you can hear the music and Aerie's supposed to be playing Zelda on the Switch. Oh, y'all stop fighting! Stop fighting, I'm filming a vlog. A vlog? Okay, sorry. Say hi, people. Hi, people. <laughs> She's becoming a teenager. I hate it. Um,. But yeah, I am in the middle of reading Saga. This is book one. It has volumes one, three, three. One, two, and three. Because my library did not have volume one. They had this. But they had volume two, three, and the rest as individual. And they wanted me to pay money for them to order. It's coming home with me and it's staying with me. I'm not going to give it back. Sorry. I got this and then I'll start with the individual volumes after. But I'm loving it so freaking much. Uh, I can totally relate to the pregnancy and the giving birth. Like the first page. Am I shitting? It feels like I'm shitting. Relatable. Um, if that was too much information, if, I apologize. But if you've given birth and went through a pregnancy... Then, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and if you haven't, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. I'm still editing, working, watching YouTube, reading, trying to stop them from fighting. <laughs> um, waiting for my husband to get home. I'm laughing at my cat. <laughs> Luna! And that's a box of clothes that I need to film a haul for. But yeah, I've made a upload schedule I'm hoping to stick to. So I'm going to make a new YouTube banner that's going to have uh, my upload days. Which I will probably say right now or cut out in editing. So editing note. Um, but I'm hoping to have videos up on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be book videos. And then Saturdays are going to be uh, hauls. Like book hauls or library hauls or Target or shopping hauls, whatever. I'm running out of space on my phone. So that's my update. Reading Saga. I'm on volume 2. I'm about to finish volume 2. And then we're still reading Wintersmith. We're on chapter uh, 17. We're reading this really, really slowly. We started it at the end or the beginning of March. I think it was the end of February. I don't remember, but I'm not wanting to rush it because I felt like we rushed through Nevermore and that we missed some certain things. And I'm just, this one is just so good. And yeah. So that is my update. I need to go finish editing and get some more space on my phone. And yeah. 
I will show you my dinner for tonight, which is going to be ramen. Because so I'm not cooking at night. I'm too tired. I'm too busy for a decent meal. Maybe my husband will cook instead. I don't know. He's calling me. Okay, gotta go. I'm crying. Oh my god. Blind cat. I love runts and they are very close to my heart. And so this picture just makes me want to cry. Oh my god. I'm sorry if that's a spoiler, but uh, I'm upset. <laughs> I love lying cat. Hey guys, happy Friday. I have a reading update. I finished Saga book one and I give it a five out of five. Um, the ending of at the very end of end of volume three. Um, it about made me cry because of Lion Cat. He's the run of the litter, and if that's a spoiler, I'm sorry, but I uh, runts of the litter are like so have a soft spot in my heart um, because growing up, that's the only kind of animal I wanted was the runt to take care of and nurture, and because they were just the smallest and everything, so. It almost made me cry, and uh, every time it would go lying, or lying, or you could just uh, imagine the tone that how he was saying it, like uh, if he was uh, in the background and some <laughs> Gwendolyn or the Will were talking, and he would just go lying. And how do you not kill him? And it was just it was funny. Uh, the tone. He's my favorite. Lion Cat is, or she is my favorite. Lion Cat is a girl. To definitely get the Funko Pop of Lion Cat. But I've also had another anxiety inducing day, but hopefully it's going to be all worth the wait because we're trying to make a major purchase. Another major purchase. Um, yeah. It's expensive, but it's going to be it, totally worth it if it goes through, um, which it may if the per if the seller doesn't decide to back out and yeah. I'm not going to say anything more because I don't want to jinx it, but I will mention it in passing and not talk about it as much because <laughs> Casey will not appreciate that um but yeah also got a new pen i bought a uh pen from fable and black i think that's the name fable and black it was one of the second sale pens and it is the handmade sale don't let the bastards grind you down which i am obsessed and can't believe that season four is in the fall but let me go back to my reading update um still reading Wondersmith and I only got that little bit left to read so hopefully we'll finish it either Tuesday or Wednesday I don't know and I finished Saga last night and I immediately started reading Funny Girl which was on the lower portion of my TBR I keep putting it on my TBRs and just not getting to it but um I've only read the first chapter and also got a new book box. It's a pass box. Um, I don't know if I'm going to subscribe to this box because it is $50 a month and it's it, the box is coffee and a classic but the thing is I'm very particular about my mugs and some of the mugs on the pass box site it's not really my favorite but I will continue to order from the pass box. I'm not going to subscribe even though I'm in love with the box and would love to subscribe, I just can't fork out that much money a month for a mug that I might not like. But you can pick which classic that you want. You can choose a nonfiction or a classic or a children's classic or something like that. But let me show you what I got. I was going to do a whole separate video on this box, but here it is. Coffee and a classic. And me and my husband already opened it. The one I got was Phantom of the Opera. Me and my husband love it, and I opened this box with him, and he adored it. 
Okay, here's the box. It came in this little file box, which will definitely be useful. And the first thing is this chocolate rose, which is symbolic. All of this matches perfectly with uh, the movie and the book. The rose the Phantom gives to Christine. And then here's the hot chocolate. It's not, uh, it don't have a label on it like it does in the pictures on the site. So I don't know what the ingredients are. So I will have to contact the owner and see if she has an ingredients list. Uh, it comes with a sleep mask, music of the night. Which is funny because the Alcrate theme for this month is music of the night. And it's going to have a Phantom of the Opera inspired item. Uh, it comes with a musical instrument. Which doesn't really go with Phantom of the Opera because they didn't have trumpets. But the back says... She's singing tonight to bring the chandelier down. And speaking of chandelier, it came with a chandelier air freshener that my husband immediately took and put in our car. And it smelled amazing. Here is the mug. It is clear. I don't have a clear mug. And it just says the Phantom of the Opera, Gaston LaRue. And uh, I am obsessed. I will be using this if my husband doesn't steal it from me. And then it comes with the Barnes & Noble copy edition of The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston LaRue. And introduction notes by Isabel Roche. It's got The Phantom. It's got Christine. And then, yeah, the Paris Opera is haunted. Everyone knows it. And, yeah, I cannot, I have not read this book. And it's breaking my, it broke my book buying ban of buying books I have not read. But it's a classic. It's my favorite story. I love the movie. I love the retelling, the um, Roseblood by A.G. Howard. And so, even though if I, even if I don't love this book, I'm happy that it's in my collection. But I love the movie, so, yeah. And it's just so pretty. And... It looks like it's an abridged version, which will be easy to read. So, that's great. And I think that was the only things in the box that came very safe. And so, yeah. And the box will be very useful. So, that's my update. I'm going to go put Papa Pizza in the oven. My husband is going to have a cookout with his buddies tonight. And I'm going to read and upload a video for tomorrow. It is a Dollar Tree haul, which you will you will see the day before this goes up. So, yeah. And I want to spend some time with my kids because they're not going to be home tomorrow. They have two Girl Scout cookie booths, and then that's it for the rest of this year. Uh, they're going to be gone all day. I will update y'all either tonight or you'll see Addie tomorrow with me. While we're just chilling and have, hanging out. Alright, bye guys. Hey guys, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. So, Sammy and Erie are at their Girl Scout cookie booth. Their last one for the year. Mm-hmm. Me and Mama making banana bread. Yep. Together. And I'm watching TV. See? So, you ready to make some banana bread? Yes, ma'am. Are you going to mash the bananas for me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so should we do all the bananas or just a couple? Make it really, really banana y. All bananas. All bananas? Uh -huh. Okay. Make it yummy. Okay, so let's go start. So, peeled the bananas. Got the peels in the compost. And now Addie is smushing how many bananas? How many bananas did I peel? Four. Mm hmm. Four bananas. And the recipe I'm using calls for two and a half, but oh well. Hold on. Okay. Put, mash it in the bowl. <laughs> mm. Mash it really, really good. Yum, yum. So our banana bread is going to be nice and sweet. And yummy. Because you can just smell the sweetness coming off these overripe 
bananas. Come on, bananas. Smush. For me and Mama. Okay, bananas. Okay. Gotta get down in the bottom, because look. Still see bananas down there? Get down in there. Bananas are all smushed, and it's honestly taking me back to when this one was a baby and she was eating the Gerber baby banana food, and it was just gross. <laughs> I want to clean the floor. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> what? I like bananas. Get back. Here is the banana bread mixture. I'm about to pour it into our pan. And my kitchen is filthy now. But Yep. Are you going to be cleaning that up? Yep. Oh. And you got flour all over your shirt. <laughs> uh huh. I just got done filming my Rue 21 haul. And like I said, my cat, she jumped right in the box. And here's all my stuff. Y'all be seeing that haul I think um, at the end of the month or in April because I have my schedule planned and so let's go see the kitty kitty. Look at her purring up a storm. Hi Luna. Hi. You happy? Luna. Now, let's go see the banana bread because it's smelling good in the house. What are you doing? Ah. Uh, and. Watching TV. Yeah, you all like watching Polly Pocket? We had to buy a. Get out of the light, baby. Sit. A shirt. And we had to buy a new uh, window unit because it gets so freaking hot in the shipping container in the summer. And. I have a family dollar haul that I may put into this vlog. And here is the banana bread. Dun, 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 dun. Ignore my stove. I need to clean. but uh, It looks a little burnt, but I've already checked it and it's mm, yum. Mm-hmm. Yum. I'm going to cut some for me and Abby. Here's my piece of banana bread. I'm just putting it in the bowl that I had my supper in. And, yeah. It's good. Try it, baby. I tried it before. It was yum. Try it right now. Mm-hmm. still hot. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Is it good? Mm-hmm. And I like it snow, too. Do you think, uh... Ari and Daddy and Sammy are gonna like it. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so, yep. Yeah. If it lasts. <laughs> yeah. Here to wrap up the sweet sweeting reading vlog. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I, it was huh, my little dance and poop and photo bombing. Anyways, um, I am still reading. Funny Girl by Nick Cornby. I am on chapter 5 and it's okay so far. Uh, it's British humor which I'm not, which I don't understand, I don't get. And I'm still in the middle of Wondersmith. We haven't read none today. Yeah. It is a very slow, it's fast read but I'm reading it slow because nothing is happening. It's just this girl, the main character, her name's Barbara, and she's from Blackpool in England, and she wants to be the next Lucille Ball, and so she moves to London. She gets a job at a department store, and uh, the only way that she would get what she wants, well, not really, but to be taken care of is to find a man and get married and just live that way don't worry about becoming an actress and all this and that that's what people are telling her and 
she's not wanting to do that. And all these married men are hitting on her. And that's just... Yeah. And so she just met some producers of a show on the BBC. And they are scrapping the entire script that they came up with and writing a show just for her because they love her and they find her funny and witty and snappy. And she just met with the head honcho of the BBC and and it's also got pictures of like I think British actresses. Oh, well, it probably British actresses. Um and comics and stuff and uh not playbills but uh what are they called? Theater posters for shows or in like uh musical music artists from back in I think this is set in the nineteen fifties or the nineteen sixties because it talks about the Blitz, so it's after uh World War Two. When was I Love Lucy on TV? In the nineteen fifties, nineteen sixties? Something like that. And oh, set in nineteen sixties London. Hmm. Okay. So I was right. And I wanna read more. Hopefully it gets better. But anyways, um I'm going to sign off. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in next week's reading vlog.